Hey everybody, how you doing today? Today we're going to check out a portable power station made by Blue Eddy. It is their AC50B model and it has 448 watt hours. Right now it's currently $399 on Amazon, but there's a $100 off coupon, bringing it down to $299, which is a really good deal for a solid battery backup. So it has 700 watts of output. It uses Life PO4 batteries that can cycle 3,500 plus times for an almost 10 years of lifespan. And using the supplied power cord, you can get this from 0% battery all the way up to 80% in about 45 minutes. You can also hook this up to a solar panel. And if you get their 200 watt version, it can charge this in up to three hours. So this has a total of six outlets. Two of them are the AC. That is due 700 watts each. It has a 15 watt standard USB-A and then two 65 watt USB-Cs. And it also has a car port, which is 12 volts and 10 amps. You can also charge this via the car port and the supplied cable, or this cable hooks up the solar panels. It comes with everything you need, the three cables and of course the manuals. So let's go ahead and power this on and we'll talk a little bit more about it as we go through this review. So to power it on, you simply hold down this button. It has a nice display and it at least shows you the percentage, which I really like. I've had a couple other models that only show you like the battery bars, which is like one through five and you don't really know exactly where it is. This will also give you a nice readout. So when you have something plugged in, it'll tell you how long it'll keep charging that or, or powering that unit. We're going to power several different items on this video and see how well this does. First, let's go ahead and see how much wattage it takes in from the standard household plug. And as you see, it's currently at 55%. And to plug this in, you simply plug it into your outlet. Over here, you lift this up and this plugs right in see how much power we're pulling in. It takes just a second to kick on. As you see, it's ramping up there. We are at 275 watts of power going into the battery. And it looks like 0.7 of an hour, it'll be fully charged. So what's that, about 45 minutes or so. And of course you can use it while it's charging. So let's go ahead and hook up my phone. We're just gonna go ahead and Plug in into USB-A, you have to turn on the DC power, so click that. And that's going to kick on, simply plug it in. And grab my phone and start charging. Simple as that. And then it sh says the watt output to the phone. Currently, via this type of cable, uh, some cables are different that can produce more power. Uh, this one's only pulling in 7 watts, but my battery's already at 94%, so that could have something to do with it as well. So very simple, easy to use. If you want to run other items, say off these AC plugs, you just click that. And that'll cycle that on, and let me go grab a couple different things. To show you how much power this can put out. Here's something random. A heat gun. These take quite a bit of power to produce that much heat. Let's see if this guy can run it. Simply plug it in like any other household. Uh, let's start with low. On low. Wow, low is pulling in. 500 to 575 watts. Let's see if it can even work with high. Look at that. It peaked out at 1,006 watts. And see that was a little bit too much wattage for it, which I kind of knew going in. But you can, this is kind of a cool way to show you if you do overpower it, it's got uh, protection built in. So it'll shut down the system and let it cool down and kind of reset itself. So in just a moment, let me push this. 
All right, now it should start charging again. There you go. So yes, this failed on something that drew a ton of power. That's fully to be expected. It's not a gigantic battery pack, but it's cool to see that it has the protection built in to shut it off and then restart the charging and all that. So let me grab something that is smaller and doesn't need all that much power and uh, we'll see how it does with that. All right, next up, let's go ahead and pretend we're camping and we wanna have a fan to cool down. Simply plug it in, turn back on the AC. Plug it in, you're gonna be nice and cool for the night. Let's see how long this will last. Let's go ahead and unplug the power input so we can get a better read. So it's only drawing 50 watts. I believe this fan is set to medium speed. There's slow, medium, fast, and um, unfortunately the fan's broke, that's why it's stuck on medium. But as you can see, uh, it's only pulling 50 watts, and this will pull that for 4.1 hours, and that's only at 60%, so. At 100%, you're probably looking at about seven hours. Uh, it gets you through a nice night of camping if you just want to run a fan. Of course, you're gonna be able to charge your phones and all that stuff. All right, plugging it back in. You can get 277 watts this time. 60% battery, and it looks like it'll take 0.6 of an hour, so 35 minutes or so to get this fully charged. So as you saw, it can power some pretty heavy devices. Um, this is better, of course, for like cell phones, battery packs, fans like you saw. Um, it can do smaller cookware. So to give you an idea of how many times it can charge things. Say your iPhone, it can charge it up to 17 times. Um, if you have a lamp you want to power, it can do about 15 hours of powering a normal light bulb on a lamp. If you have a mini fridge that pulls 60 watts, about 5.7 hours total. And if you have a kettle that's 500 watts, it'll do that for about 40 minutes straight. Comes with a nice carrying handle. It's approximately 15 pounds, so it's not bad to carry around at all. And it's pretty quiet right now, it's running, and it's only 50 decibels. There's also an app that you can control the power current and keep an eye on uh, how much current there is, how much battery you have left, uh, etc. And it does have uh, what they call 1,000 watts of power lifting. So if you have an item that pulls in 1,000 watts or it's not a continuous 1,000 watts, um, it'll do up to that 1,000 watts that kick off. Like you saw with the heat gun, it was working fine, and then you saw it jump over that 1,000 watts, and that's when the protection kicked in. And I think overall it's a nice unit. It's, it's well-priced, $299, especially right now with that coupon code. Um, I think it's a good price. Plenty of outputs. You get three USBs on the two main power supplies. So this is great to have in case there's ever any power outages. You can run some lamps, charge your phones, even cook, uh, even make a cup of coffee. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this something you would want? I'm glad I have it. Um, you never know when you might need something like this. And for 300 bucks, it's really well priced and I would recommend it. I will use this more over the coming weeks and if you guys would like an update video, let me know down in the comments. And um, first impressions, I think it's really good. Nice and simple to use. And I'll put some links below if you're interested. There might even be a coupon code to save you a little bit more money. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.